Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In this lecture, I'm just going to share that how we'll create foundation detailing using Autodex Revit. So which version of Autodex Revit you are using? That's not fact. I'm just using the default option of our software. Okay. So first of all, I'll just click here, a structural template. And before starting, if you're new to our channel, and also if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever fast. And also if you love me or if you like me and also if you love our channel, then you can join as a member of our channel to support us and to show your great support to me. First of all, from here, I'll just change that scale a little bit. I'll use that scale will be good for our this work actually or you can use that option or you can use that option actually this is not a good practice so you can use that option and what we'll do I'll just a little bit change that option Okay. Here, I'll just start working and then see what happened. So first of all, I'll just come here in column. I'll create a column first of all. So from here, uh, that is twelve into. I will use a column like eighteen into twenty four. Okay, and here, here is the clear cover. Okay, here is the clear cover, and if you need to change that then you can change that after that if you need to change anything here actually then you can also change that from here okay so there are many things to change i'll not change anything i will use that one as i am just showing you a with a default value so here that is i've just created a column here but uh, i'll just press ctrl z before creating column i'll select direction and I will select the option level 1. Okay, I will select that option level 1. And then I will just go here, column. And from here I will select that one. And obviously I will select height and what will be the height from level 1 to level 2. Okay. And from here I will just simply click here. Okay. So here is our column. And I will escape. After creating our column, I'll just create our foundation. Again, I'll just go here, a structure. Sorry, maybe I have just created a, a structure architectural column. So I have to create a structural column. So I'll click that one and that is okay. And simply I'll just click here. Okay, then skip. After creating that, I'll create foundation here. So I'll click here isolated foundation and from here I'll select any of that so I'm selecting that one okay and from here I'm just creating our foundation like that so it's done I'll double click to I'm double, double click on escape after that I'll just go view and I'll go 3d view just see here this is the 3d view of our model okay when it's done then again I'll go level 1 and from here I'll just come here architect uh, uh, structure then river then okay now after that I'll use that option and from here I'll use that that on far cover reference and here uh, perpendicular to cover okay when we're here perpendicular to cover then I'll use And if you need to change that uh, river shape, you can change that. So um, I can change here P45, like, okay, I'll use number five bar. And if you need to change anything from here, dimension or anything here, then you can uh, do it. I'll just click OK. Okay. So here the river shape, there are many things, uh, many shape here available, like here. So I'll just 
come here i'll just give a reinforcement here i'll just give reinforcement here and in future we are able to change that shape here on and here on you can also if you need here on and also here on, you can give it here so when it's done then again i'll just come here and i'll select this type so i'll use that one okay and from here i will use parallel to cover and i'll just come here and obviously you have to use that option sorry a parallel to work face from here parallel to work face so it's done you can just use any of that portion your stood up okay so i'm just using uh, that side like that is done okay and then press escape and again escape after that select that one and from here they have more option to provide the history of value okay so at the fixed number i mean you know the fixed number of your history of otherwise minimum spacing number with spacing and minimum clear spacing they have many things clear spacing minimum spacing that means at will be, uh, this spacing will be center to center and here the minimum clear spacing and if you use that option there have two option okay so if you want to give how much reinforcement you want to give here and what will be the spacing of it okay suppose if i just provide here number six and here you have to provide that spacing also but i will not use that option i'll use that option maximum spacing that means center to center not clear spacing okay and here i will use uh, here i will use just suppose five inch okay five inch and i'll click enter and now i'll go in 3d view i'll press escape from here sorry actually maybe i have just selected the wrong option maximum spacing i just press ctrl z I'll select that one not single the spc what will be the spc uh spc will be five bins okay then just click here here five bins spc will create again you can click here and for provide more spc suppose six inch then enter it will give you a spc of six inch okay so when it's done i'll again go here level one and from here i'll select that one and by pressing arrow of mouse i will use move it that is original position i need to move that in left side so here it's done okay when it's done now we have to create our foundation reinforcement so for foundation reinforcement i'll just come here and from here view then i'll take section okay from that point to that point i'll take section for that section reinforcement okay Sorry. From here,
I hope uh, actually uh, we'll change that or uh, here you can select that option I mean a skill a scaling you can change the scaling for it from here for your department with a scaling you want to see that but it's not showing so good also Yeah. So what I'll do? Okay, I'll just change that later. No problem. I'll press skip. And after that, when it's done, now we just go here. The uh, section view. I'll just go here in section view, and here section one. Where is the section? Here is the section. So what we can do that? Change its value here like that. We create that perfectly, and from here you can change its scaling. Okay, you can change its scaling for proper visualization. Okay, when it's done, now uh, I'll just go here again. A structure, then river. And from here, we have to select which river is suitable for that shape. So I'll just go top here. That one is suitable. Does that one? And from here, just see. You're seeing that here is the value. And now they have many options: near cover reference, and here that one or current work plane. And here, the river perpendicular to river parallel to work plane. That many option actually. As you record means, so you can use that option also. You can use uh, perpendicular to cover. So actually, that is not okay. So I'll use perpendicular to work plane. So simply, you have to create here and before that. Okay, I'll just create here, no problem. So here that one. And I'll clip, skip, and I'll just select that one. And from here, how much? So the maximum spacing, what will be the maximum spacing? Suppose five. Okay, suppose five inch. Then go to 3D view. And see here, all of the reinforcement are visible here, right? All of the reinforcement are visible. So when it's done, now I'll again go in level, okay? And I'll take a section in that direction. Just come here. Just come and I'll skip that and I'll come view and from here I'll take another section in that direction. Okay, so taking a section in that direction again, I'll just come here in section two. And after coming here, structure and river, and then that one, and here simply create your river where you need. So we know that uh, the long duration reinforcement will be in bottom, so I will use that option to draw a river. So here it's done, then we skip, and then we skip. After that, I will select that option. And I'll move that a little bit up like that, right? So when it's done, now 
I'll select that option and from here I'll move little bit inside like here and for that on that side I'll also move little bit in that side like that after that I'll select that and from here the spacing and what will be spacing for like six now I'll go in 3d just see it's done okay it's done so that's it in this way you are able to do reinforcement detailing and also in our next lecture or another lecture I'll show you that how we'll create our dual bar okay for our that column reinforcement so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next video and if you think that that is helpful for you then like our video and share our video also and don't forget to subscribe and if you really like me then you can support me by joining our channel as a member so thank you thank you very much